good morning guys welcome to today's video today you are not getting energetic Laura you are getting exhausted Laura holy moly it has been a whirlwind of the last couple of days but I'm excited to experience all the things that are gonna happen today and I'm excited to share them with you guys I'm aching <laughs> good morning your eyes look half closed too well why are you aching Sophie Because the trail ride. yeah but was it fun was it worth it? It's true, I forgot about the aching, you guys. I'm an aching mess, but oh man, it was worth it. We are a little bit late going down to our horses. Hopefully they forgive us. Just a couple minutes, like 15. Um, it's 8.46, guys. Yeah, I feel bad. I hate doing that to them. Anyway, we have all this stuff that our guests gave us. Uh, sparkly vet wrap. That is amazing. It's black and sparkly. I think Storm would love that. Hopefully, we never have to use it. <laughs> it is kind of rainy and cool today. What an incredible gift that um, the weather held for all of our plans with our guests this week. That was amazing. I saw so many divine interventions, you guys, with them here. It was incredible. I got my riding hair on again because you never know what could happen today. I want to ride. I'm just getting stuff. Yes, he gets, oh, probiotic. All right, that's it. That's I what like he gets. to give them, like, just tell them supplements at night. Just tell them it's a de-spook only morning. Yeah. Now that we have that big garbage can up there, all this stuff can hit the I, road. I opened these, so they're going back up there since I have to clean my shoes. Oh, those are good for shows. I agree. We should save them for shows. We did just start sell on a despooking medication or supplement. She definitely is less spooky. It's mostly just a bunch of magnesium and some other vitamins to help her. Um, but it takes a long time for that kind of stuff to get in their system but I definitely like it so far. So these treats we need to use just for Stella because we can buy any treats for our other horses. Can they try one? Yeah, they can try one. And but I'm just wait, let's one. show them. So these came from Danny the Horse Girl and it's backwards. Nutri-good, low, low sugar, sugar, apple snacks. snacks. So, so finally our dear, cause I don't see those ever in the store. Okay. Our sweet girl Stella is about to have some treats finally. Treats. They want to try. I'm giving them to try. All right, low sugar treats. What do you guys think? They smell weird. They kind of smell like apple. Stella, oh, oh. dirty. Big rolls. Gross. She's like, mm, it's good she for me. Any <laughs> yeah. She's like, anything that goes in my mouth is good. But we still don't want to overdo it. Good girl. Good girl. It's because we love you. Know, I'm listen. I'm not going to lie. Wait, listen. Dad. It's raining. Oh. This is the first rain in our barn. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Look at the poop. Can you guys hear it? My wish is coming true. <laughs> Gabby wants to ride Stella. Look at Stella's open really and looking out. In she wants, really bad rain because yeah. she wants to see if she can stick it. Uh oh, you better go in there and close that door. Willa so them. Willa Stella likes them. Aw. Finn, what's oh. on his head? Did he lay down and? Oh, you have poop on your head. Let me go get a brush. Rough. So, um, I have to admit that I, I felt a little guilty yesterday loving the horse that I rode. I never had an experience like that before when we rode the Pasofinos. I sat on my horse and within 10 minutes, I trusted her with my life. I was like, I, I'm, I just gave her her head and said, you do what you need to do. Because there were times when we went up hills like this, like this, and she cantered no. up them. It was like, boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it was insane. The trail was absolutely, like, my, we couldn't vlog that my part. My girl, Pia, 
cantered up it, and it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, and all, like there were times when we were going downhill, Their like that. Their pants are so smooth, you should go yeah. and try them. Yeah, like if you, right. if, if we're going uphill like that. Yeah, like it, we couldn't vlog that part because we needed to hold on with all of our, all of our. <laughs> we actually and, had to use our thighs going up it. Yeah, there were parts where I was like, I was like this, leaning back. Please God, please, please God, please. And I just calmed my whole oh, yeah. entire body and let her do her like thing. This. Yeah. I just let her do her own thing, and she did it all perfectly. They know how to fix it. Those, up. yeah, those horses. They just choose to do it or not to do it. Yeah, those horses. Those choose not to do it. <laughs> were incredible. Were absolutely incredible. I feel a little guilty loving that horse the way I love that horse, but I love our horses too. Did you feel guilty loving her? Would what? you want a Pasofino? Yes, I love her. I want a Pasofino. I want. Some She's amazing. Her. Yeah, but not better than Storm. If you're a nervous rider, if you're afraid to ride, if you're afraid to canter, if you're afraid to trot, a Pasofino, you just sit there, and no matter what they do, you just sit there. Like you don't feel like you're ever gonna come off. It's just like, um, just like gentle. Like yeah. you're like. Like no matter what, like I didn't even notice when she changed gait. Do not have really long stirrups or else you will lose your stirrups and you will bounce out of their seat. My experience was so bouncy because she was so bouncy. I saw you sitting forward though, leaning forward. <laughs> yeah. I felt so like as long as you, to oh, you were holding on to Maine. I found as long as I put my heels down. down as far as I could. It nothing good. else mattered. I just sat like heels down and yeah, stirrups. and it just felt amazing. At right. one point, I was just like going in front of everybody, and I just let my horse go. And I had my camera out, and I was like, just go home if you want to. I was like, run away with me, because that's how amazing those horses were. Anyway, our horses are waiting for food, so let's. Finn is ready. Let's get to it. So clearly, I'm doing something wrong. I just cleaned up all the poop in the arena, and there was so much poop outside. However, one poop. That's it, just one poop. You guys, this is the kind of mud we have here. Sticky mud. It does not come off your boots. No. Laura, you know what you need? It's one of those, um, you need one of those brush things. Yes, I know. I've been thinking about that. Yeah. yeah. We've, um, we got one and we, um, cause they're weird because there's like you stand on part of it and then you do that, but put it on a piece of wood, like just screw it to a piece of wood. Okay. And then you can do that. In the yeah. That's that. such yeah. a good idea. Cause yeah, this mud is terrible. We don't have sticky mud. We just have yeah. mud. The mud here is the same consistency as stepping in dog poop. <laughs> That's why our mud is so gross. Yeah, because you can't shake it off no matter what. And actually, no. instead of a brush, you probably would do better with a boot scraper. Yeah. Get something to scrape it off. Yeah. Uh-oh. Like, he does not understand that we don't have mats in here yet. Like, you're not allowed to poop on the ground. Our mud is the consistency of, like, horse poop. Yeah, that's and nice. It's, um, it's, it's, uh, more soupy. Yeah. yeah. That's what you think you do it up to your desk. Okay, so I don't know what one would be better. <laughs> Carrying around non stinky dog poop or soupy horse poop. <laughs> yeah. So when I was cleaning Texas feet last night, it was like hard packed in there. Where at our place, like if we bring the horses in and just ride them around even in the sand for a little bit, you'll pick up their foot and it'll be clean. Oh, okay. Like, so but that's yours better. actually like packed. You have yeah. packy mud. Yeah. Belly looks pretty dirt. Dirty. Would you rather I hit you with this flag or hit you with this whip? I like I like the whip. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I know it's coming. Like it's a right. little bit okay. Okay. For me, I prefer a flag because it is less of a feel to my horse. Your horse can feel a fly land on its back oh, okay and twitch its skin to get it to come up okay why would i want to use yeah. that much pressure and have right. a tap because you can only be so light with a whip yeah so we're cueing our horse to go do something but they're not understanding okay so then we come in with the whip or whatever i ride with the dressage whip all the time but so we're going to send our horse they don't quite get it okay and we're able to use the flag to come in and say no i want you to go and it is a visual like they can see it, they realize, oh, I should move. This thing is telling me I should move. It's an extension of your hand. Okay. So, and now I'm also gonna talk about why I use a rope halter versus a nylon halter. And Gabby, I'm gonna use you for this, all right? And I'm gonna use your back, okay? So, 
I want you to lean, just lean back on me. I won't let you fall. Just lean back on me. You can pretty much lean on me like that all day, couldn't you? Okay? Now yeah. stand up. Now lean back. No. So, which, which would you prefer to lean on all day? The other one. Okay, so I have my hand flat on her back versus just my thumb. So the reason I use a rope halter is because my horse can't lean on it. They don't want to lean on it. It, it um, helps deter them from wanting to lean. This they can lean on all day long. Okay. And they can pull. So a lot of the horses that I've worked with who have a nylon or a leather halter, they just learn to lean. Where we put a rope halter on them, they don't feel that pressure unless it's needed. But when I take a hold of this pony and I go to pull yeah. it forward, look at all that. Yeah. You know what that turns into? next this little bit of brace right there turns into pulling back well tied so anybody who's ever seen a horse pull back well tied it is one of the scariest things that you can encounter with a horse and the brace continues on to be more and more things okay so that simple brace of how people were leading her i don't want it to feel like i'm dragging a cinder block through the mud yeah we don't I either to be able to lead my horse and have them walk up with me like they're my partner okay so my horse, just this simple, this right here, this. Next thing that's gonna happen, she's gonna start pulling back on you guys. Yeah. So when you have a horse tied and they pull back, you get out of the way because it is scary. So the simple act of not letting her drag on you and you learning to not drag her around is going to prevent an accident and save your horse's life in the future. Just wait, can we all take a moment to see how like calm our spooky horse is? We're in class right now. I know, we're in class and everybody's got a halter on, but. Stella's just like, hey, I'll watch. But when I lead my horses, I expect them to come with me, okay? So, I expect them to come with me. So, I expect this horse to stay with me and not pass me. He doesn't need to be nosing on my arm. But I need to be able to lead five, six horses at a time. Okay, so go faster, though. Huh? Like, our horse, okay, so maybe he's different. We've never tried him before. You gotta try Storm. Storm will walk on I can fix it in a couple days, okay? He wouldn't do it to me, he'd still do it to Yeti. But it's like having a substitute teacher in school. The kids know what they can get away with. Yeah, so you need to show us how to fix it. I will. You keep watching my channel, I'll have videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos now because... You need to tag us in everything. I will. So, now I'm gonna slow down. I expect this horse to slow down with me and not pass me, not push me, no, I didn't see the tug. I didn't release the pressure until he went. Okay, okay. so that's what we're missing. Right there. He okay. came up with me, I released. But he's not allowed to get past me. Thank you so much, you guys. We really appreciate everything. We had a blast with yeah. you guys this week. It was so awesome meeting you guys. Thank you for taking us on all the adventures. And hopefully yep. you can join us. Yes, we would love to come and join you guys. It was so much more like a horsey family than anything else. It was amazing, you guys. Like seriously, like I wish I could pick your brain so much more and learn. Like I, I like to keep you here for a week, <laughs> well, probably a year. <laughs> but yeah, like I learned so much already. I just can't wait to. Like I feel like yeah, it's been amazing. I think this it's is just been, the beginning of it. This yeah. is the beginning. Yeah. So Friendship. if you guys want to pick her brain, or if you guys want to watch Danny the Horse Girl, we'll put the links in the description box below. But definitely. Um, channels worth watching. It's been an amazing video. I mean, it's been an amazing adventure. Like, it's just been, it's just been incredible. And follow their channel because they're headed now to do something so incredible and amazing. <laughs> I'm jealous. And um, yeah, that'll be in their video soon. Also, something exciting for Danny. She's so close to 50,000. Yeah, I, I noticed that this morning. Yeah, I noticed that this morning. Yeah, you gotta get to. You gotta get. Yeah, fifty thousand is a big. Fifty thousand. That's a big deal.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.